Okay, welcome to uh, Drawing a Strack Elevation, Part 1. Uh, in this uh, video here, uh, we'll look at the very beginnings of Drawing a Stack Elevation. So what we have on the screen now in front of you is a stack elevation. Um, it's a building that has uh, three stories uh, and the basement. Uh, it has a peak roof. And starting from the top floor, the very top floor in the building, the third floor, from left to right, we have a water closet, a domestic lab, a bathtub. On the very far side of that floor, we have a floor drain. Moving down to the second floor, we have a water closet and a lavatory. And on the very far right-hand side of that floor, we have a floor drain. On the very first floor now, we have a kitchen sink, and it's a double compartment. That's a two rectangles, double compartment kitchen sink. Uh, to the right, on the right side of that floor, we starting from left to right, we have a floor drain, followed by a domestic lavatory, a water closet, and bathtub. And then finally, we move into the basement of the home. And in the basement from left to right, we have a floor drain on the floor in the basement. And on the right-hand side, we have a laundry tray, and it's a double compartment laundry tray. We'll also notice on the left-hand side, on the outside of the building, we have FD in a circle there. That's to represent our our foundation drain. And of course, our foundation drain would wrap around totally around the whole building. Uh, but that's the part we're going to connect our foundation drain connection into our storm. On the left-hand side, sorry, the right-hand side, you'll notice that there is two lines, one for S, uh, SAN, sanitary, the top one, and the bottom one is the storm. So we're having a separate system here, and we're going to start to draw it in. First up, as always, just like our drain plans, uh, we need to first establish where our stacks are going to be, and it's good to start off with the main stack. So in this case, we've decided to put uh, our main stack sort of uh, left of center, and it's going to be a soil stack because it's going to pick up a, a water closet on the third floor as well as a water closet on the second floor, so making it a soil stack as well as a variety of other things. So you see I have I have drawn in that line, my stack going down through all the three floors into the basement floor, into the foundation, and then doing a 90 and heading over and out the building. Uh, so this, this is now the, this part here from the 90 over all the way before one meter off the building. That is our sanitary building drain. And of course, after one meter, it turned into our sanitary building sewer. You'll see that I've added on a four inch clean out. Uh, at the base of the stack before it goes on the floor. Obviously, as per code, Ontario Building Code, we have to have a clean out at the base of, this, at the base of all inter internal leaders. Um, and it's a four inch clean out, labeled four inches, because we know that it's uh, meant to clean out the building drain, which has to be a minimum of four inches. Also, uh, I've had another clean out just before it leaves the, the building there, a four inch clean out just right of the uh, laundry tray. And again, I'm using the, the 45 Y connection. So it heads it into the direction of the sanitary building sewer because that's what it's meant to clean. And again, it's size of four inch because the sanitary building sewer has to be a minimum of four inches. After four inches in size, the clean out will still maintain as four inches. Now that we've done that, we can move on to adding a, uh, another stack into the building we wish to. And again, before we move on to that, there's a little bit of a more of a close up again uh, four inch clean out at the base of the stack before goes into the ground and our other four inch clean out beside it. Like I was just saying, we can, now we can determine if we're going to throw another stack in. I'm going to determine another, throw another stack into the building. And you can see I've drawn a second line. Now this one's more right of center. Okay. And it's going to be picking up all the fixtures to the right of it. Whereas the other stack, our very first soil stack is going to pick all the fixtures to the left of it. And depending on the building and how big the building is, what the size is, sometimes you'll have to one or two, three, four. It depends on all the, the layout of all the land of the building. Uh, and again, you can see I've tied it in, going down through the ground. Once it goes through the foundation into the concrete, before it goes there, there's a clean out again. It's not labeled the four inches, not labeled any size yet, uh, because I have to take in mind what fixtures that I'm going to be adding to it before I can size it. So I just left it as a clean up for now. Um, down the road, if I wanted to size, I could sign it based on the load. 
because it's going to be it's going to be cleaning out this horizontal branch down here at the bottom that ties into the sanitary building drain. And just another little close up of it. So there it is. There's our second stack, our clean out. No size on it yet. It's in a Y fitting. Uh, it's going to go into a, a 90 into a, into a Y, and off it goes onto the building drain, sanitary building drain, uh, on the way out. Now that we've done that, uh, we can start to tie in all the fixtures. So I'm starting with the soil stack on the right hand side. Sorry, the left hand side, and I'm tying all the fixtures in. So at the very top of the building there. Third floor, I've tied in the water closet in first. So vertical leg 90, uh, this horizontal branch, which goes into a 45 Y combination into the stack. Uh, but halfway down on the horizontal part here, I've tied in the lavatory. And into the lavatory, I've tied into the bathtub, into the lavatory, into the vertical section. And you can see how the circle and the trap, circle for the overflow, trap for the, the whole drain. It has to have a trap on it. Again, it goes into a 45 kind of Y combination or a TY combination. Above that, at the lab, you'll notice again, I'll have the trap. I have a thin little line through it where it represents the clean out, either the three quarter plug or the union trap. So I'm representing a union trap here. And again, it has a little trap arm and it goes down the TY. Um, as you can see right now, you might have not noticed, but um, or may have noticed, uh, at this point I have no venting in, so no green dashes anywhere for any kind of venting. The only actual vent that's showing on this on this screen right now is the wet vent, uh, which is being used for the bathtub and the water closet. Next up, I did the other water closet, tied it in again, 45 into a Y, a little trap, a little trap arm, then down. Uh, 45Y into the horizontal branch. Again, there's a little line for a clean out. Uh, the first floor, I have the double kitchen sink, so each one has its own outlet. So I tie then the first one, the left-hand side, straight out into a 90, into a TY, which goes into the trap, which is a union trap. The uh, On the inlet side of that TY is, is coming the outlet pipe for the right-hand bowl. They join together through the trap, union trap. And after the, just after the trap, is, there's the clean out as per code for on a kitchen sink. Just after the trap, you have to have a clean out. And then again, it's going into uh, a 45 Y combination, or it could be uh, a, a TY as well. In the lower part of the building, you'll notice that I've tied in the three inch floor drain down at the bottom here. Again, with a trap, trap arm. And I've tied it in on a 45 into the building drain, sanitary building drain. That allows me to have a three inch or a bigger stack upstream of it. Um, I've thrown in my trap seal primer, my little lines, my T TSP. Um, the only thing I probably haven't included here, which could be also included, is the three eighths inches minimum ID for the trap seal primer. So again, this is a little bit more of a close-up of it. So you can see how I've connected up the three-piece washroom at the top, the two-piece washroom in the second floor, the kitchen sink on the first floor, and then, of course, the floor drain in the basement. The floor drain in the basement, we can use the unvented floor drain rules as long as we tie it on the horizontal piece, the building drain part, which will allow us to have a stack upstream of it. And as long as our fixture drain is at least 100, sorry, no, 450 milliliters long, millimeters long, should I say. Uh, our fall is not greater than our size of pipe. We at least have a three inch trap or three inch piping. So next up, I started to connect some of the stuff on the right hand side into the other soil stack. So I got the floor drain tied in, Y45 combination, the three dashes for the trap seal primer. When we're doing bigger drawings like this, there's no need to repeat uh, everything so the three lines is sh uh, blue line should be good enough you don't have to put the three eighths minimum ID and all of them you don't have to put down TPS for all of them because uh, you'll notice how over time when we start to add the sizes and it becomes a lot of stuff on the drawing so the coach reference should be at least on one of the locations you'll notice that all the floor drain traps don't have a line through because 
they will be in the ground, in the ceiling, not accessible, and so they should be a solid trap. They shouldn't be a union trap. Again, we have a floor drain, second floor, much the same as the one on the third floor. I've tied in my floor drain into the horizontal part of the uh, branch coming from the water closet. Again, my, my little dashes. I have now connected in my laundry tray again, much like my double compartment sink. My one outlet going into the other outlet, going into a trap. It's got a little line for a clean out up into the fixture drain and then eventually goes down. This one goes right down into the ground and actually ties into the the horizontal, uh, sorry, the horizontal piping underground, which is the sanitary building drain. In some cases, some people will tie it straight into the stack just above the clean out, but I've decided to go underground and tie it into the, uh, the sanitary building drain separately. I have yet to connect up the other three, the other two fixtures here in that three-piece bathroom on the second floor, sorry, first floor. So there's another little bit of close-up of the stuff we've done. The, the three floor drains, the water closet was hooked up, the laundry tray was hooked up. Uh, I've just got to hook up the domestic lab and the bathtub on the first floor. So in this drawing here, now you can see I've hooked up the, the bathtub. The bathtub's got the circle with the overflow line going down for a trap, no line through it because it's not a union trap, it's a solid trap. A brake line, and then it goes over and ties into the vertical section of the drainage piping for the domestic laboratory. Again, the domestic laboratory has a trap, a little line through it, a little fixture drain down on the uh, TY, and then it goes 45Y into the horizontal part of the water closet. What we're setting up in, on all these washrooms, all three washrooms, the, the two three piece washrooms and the, sorry, the two three piece washrooms and the one. Two-piece uh, two washroom, we're setting up a wet venting uh, format for saving for venting piping. Next up, uh, we've now tied in all the lower stuff, so all the sand, all the storm sorry piping at the bottom. So we have a foundation connected through. It's going through a back water valve, so that now the storm water backs up into the foundation. Um, and you'll see that the back water valve is slightly right of this rectangle here because we want to be able to get at it from the floor level. We'll have a compartment up above here that we can reach in and uh, service it. So we don't want it below the foundation, the concrete here. That's what the, the slab is for, this little rectangle. I got my 4-inch clean out that I need to clean out the storm building drain. Okay, And it's located in the floor in the basement there. And as well as it connects and leaves the building, I have another four inch cleanup, which will service our storm building sewer, which is on one meter off the foundation wall on the outside of the building. And again, here's a little bit more of a close up. So you can see all the blue stormage pipe down here at the bottom. Again, foundation through the back water valve, the back water valve is in a spot where I could reach it, so it's not below this foundation. It's just on this side of it, so the inside of the building I can have an access panel to clean it out. My four inch clean out to clean out my storm that's inside the building. My second four inch clean out, which will clean the sanitary, uh, not sorry, sanitary, the storm building sewer, which is one meter off the building as per code. And that ends uh, our look at part one of uh, drawing a drain plan. Sorry, not drawing a drain plan, drawing a stack elevation. My apologies. Part one.